Hello, hello. Another interesting headline today um, from MIT uh, Technology Review. Uh, you can see here the picture on the screen is a huge city in Minecraft. Minecraft, of course, is one of the most popular video games of all time, with something like 90 million players per month using it at 170 million downloads. People of all ages uh, like to play Minecraft. What was so interesting about this uh, particular headline was that Facebook is creating an AI assistant for Minecraft. So this is artificial intelligence, and I was wondering what the heck was going on with it. Uh, and it says here, uh, machine intelligence has outperformed humans in a range of tasks from game playing to face recognition. But the embarrassing truth is that AI systems still cannot cope with multiple tasks. The next big goal for AI researchers is to develop a system that is quite good at lots of tasks rather than superhuman at one. Enter Arthur Salzem, a colleague at Facebook Research. They have started to work on an AI assistant capable of interacting with humans, then performing a wide range of tasks on request. So they went through here, and there's a short video. I will have the link in the description, so if you're interested in that, you can uh, look at that. But basically, these researchers uh, have chosen to pursue a goal in Minecraft. It's basically what they call a 3D sandbox video game. Uh, the sandbox is a place where computer developers like to literally play and play around. That's why they are called sandboxes. Uh, what makes Minecraft particularly useful for AI researchers is that the world itself offers infinite variety, but its rules are also simple and predictable within certain limits. And AI researchers have already begun to use it to train and test various kinds of AI systems. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing this name wrong. Uh, Mr. Salzam talks about instead of superhuman performance on a single task, we are interested in competency across a large number of simpler tasks specified perhaps poorly by humans. Now, this is actually important. I'm going to skip down a little bit to show you what they mean. And this is the big challenge. I'm going to highlight this right here. We don't think too much about it, but it is still challenging. Among the difficulties is understanding ordinary language. This would be for the robot AI to understand humans. The Facebook team imagines the following request. Here's the player. Build a tower 15 blocks tall and then put a giant smiley on top. Assistant. Okay, this relatively simple request requires a remarkable degree of knowledge. The assistant, the robot, must understand the concept of a tower and how to build one, know that 15 blocks high is a measure of the tower height, and know what 15 is. It also needs to understand the term smiley and how to build it, and know how what it means to place it on top. And it's not hard to imagine how these requests would get significantly more complex. I really like that as an example of how difficult <laughs> some of the things are and how we simply take things for granted. Minecraft is an excellent, as they mentioned, sandbox for using these things and trying to build on it. Um, also, the more that the AI can actually interact with real human beings and take, for example, requests like this, what are rather simple requests until you start looking at the concept of the tower, 15 blocks high, 15 smiley, what does on top mean, all of that stuff um, is huge. And the opportunities for the uh, robot to learn from Minecraft is phenomenal. So Facebook is setting itself on the task of designing the AI to self-improve. Um, one of the most common criticisms of AI systems is that they do not learn new tasks beyond those for which they are trained for and for which data is collected and prepared. But the researchers think that the Minecraft environment is a perfect one for developing uh, this kind of learning as self-improvement. An early version of the assistant is already available for ordinary users to start experimenting with, and anybody can download Download it here. I will again leave that link in the description. So just an interesting point um, about computers, about Minecraft, about building machines that can uh, start to self-improve. If you like this content, please leave me a like, share, 
send me an email and I'll see you next time. Thank you.